It's me! Oh, oh, I have something in my eye. Good morning, guys. I still have something in my eye. It's probably an eyelash. This look is so great. I have my hood like sticking out the back of my jacket because it's cold. It's super, super cold, which is not great because my hands are getting so dry. And yeah, today it is Friday and it is the second official day of term, even though my lectures actually started on Tuesday. And yeah, so this morning I have a lecture. I need to leave basically now. Ew, that's something on my workshop. Right, anyways, what am I trying to say here? Oh yeah, I have a lecture this morning. It is for my minor module, so I'm gonna quickly try and explain my course this year. Oh, this scarf is like too big right now. My heating's on in my room as well. The first time I've actually turned it on. My course this year, I do a major and I do a minor because I'm doing something that's called BBS where I do a dissertation instead of doing a project and I also do a minor subject. So my major subject is in pathology and my minor subject is with biochemistry, which is slightly scary. The lectures this morning starts at 8.45, okay? Normally lectures don't start until 9, like that's the earliest, but today, no, we have an 8.45 lecture, that is so strange. But I'm hoping the module's going to be good because it's on like cell signaling, no, cell cycle, signaling and cancer. So it sounds really interesting, but it's with biochemistry. Yeah, 8.45 lecture and it finishes at 10, so it's like an hour and 15, like what? I'm meeting Izzy um, on our bikes. Right, bye. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is so cold. I stepped outside this morning and was like, <gasps> I think it snowed the other day as well, you know? Close to freezing, I'm not even joking. I need to wear more layers. And who missed me with my helmet? Back wearing the helmet. It's also 9.30, the lecture was 45 minutes. It wasn't even a lecture, it was like an introductory thing. Introduction. Thing. Yeah, it's actually so nice to have come back. Like I've already had my lecture by quarter to ten. It's fine. It's 15 minutes than earlier. What am I trying to say? It's 15 minutes earlier than usual, so that's fine. Izzy and I sat right at the front as well. Keen beans. So we are going to make a to-do list because this one is just like too messy and full, and I can't deal with it anymore. So. We're gonna start a new one and then the plan is to just get on with work and then I'll probably go to the gym this morning um, at some point, then have lunch, do some more work, have a lecture and then get ready for tomorrow's competition because it is competition season and our first competition is tomorrow in London so I need to get prepared for that and I'm super excited. Um, yes, yeah, so I will be vlogging hopefully so that video will probably go up like after this one, you know. I'm actually getting quite hot now because I put the heating on like really high so I'm gonna turn it down because this is like whoa that is so hot right now I need to turn you down I'm gonna put it off I think there we go so I need to whoa look at all that for us um you can still see it I need to sort out my costumes for tomorrow because Beth said to do it earlier in the week because if we don't have anything then a bit screwed because the competition's tomorrow but hopefully it's all still in my cupboard. Oh, look at this jazz leotard. Can you see it's like got sparkles and 
got sparkles here. So the competition we're doing tomorrow, I'm just gonna say, is KCL, King's College London, Just Dance It. It's obviously in London, so we're getting the coach down tomorrow at 7.30 a.m., so it's an early start. I organized this last term, so I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I don't know if I have a pair of ballet tights that don't have holes in, which could be quite disastrous. Holly, it's a bit late now, but we might be able to find some that are semi-acceptable and then that will just have to do. How many? I have four pairs of ballet tights. Already I can see a ladder in those. You might be okay. Oh, I have five pairs of ballet tights to choose from. And these ballet tights are so old. They're like not even pink anymore. I don't think I've ever owned pink ballet tights. They're always like a gray color. There's a ladder in those. These don't have any holes in, I think. All of them have ladders in, except those ones, hopefully. My hair is frizzy, and I haven't even been to the gym yet. It's like, just gone 12, which is what I planned, so we're doing quite well today. I'm gonna go to the gym earlier today because we have competition tomorrow, and I don't want to, like, tire my legs out too late in the evening. Just been sorting out costumes. They're all pretty much sorted now. I just spoke to mum as well at home because mum is coming tomorrow to support us also so the other day um i was in a rehearsal um for this contemporary dance that we're doing for the cute show it's like an extra number that's being choreographed by atlanta and it's so good we do this floor work sequence and i literally smashed down on my knee and i have this lovely bruise going on here it was really red this morning and it's quite painful going down a bit but it's really painful <laughs> i need to be careful with myself i don't think i've ever actually shown you guys but essentially in college we have a gym and it's kind of like been redone and they've changed one of the squash courts which is what i'm in now into like a weight session and an extended room so it's part of the gym but it's a separate room they've just made things bigger added loads of new machines all of these machines are new in this room here which is really cool, but I have no clue how you use any of these machines. Like the weight stuff there, more weight stuff, this machine, that machine. I have never really used weights and machines when I go to the gym, so it would be nice to try it, but I don't really know how you use a lot of the machines, so I'll probably just make a fool of myself and yeah break it or something but i might try however today i'm gonna go to the other room to start with because that's what i'm most familiar with and then i might come here i don't know just did some like cardio on the like cross trainer or elliptical whatever you want to call it and now i think i'm gonna do some weight stuff like no one's in here so now is the time that i can try using some of these strange machines that look a bit like scary monsters but hey i'm gonna start off with the weights and then maybe try machines get me exciting all right so you're on the machine i think this is the one where you do dips and stuff right Oh. oh god how the hell are you supposed to do that like i have no upper body strength whatsoever oh. maybe i should hang so my camera died which was a bit annoying because i actually did try quite a lot of stuff in that gym room well i say that and it was just literally me trying it and working out how you use the machine like trying to follow the little instruction thing yeah i was gonna film a bit more but my camera died as i just said so if i get used to the machines and i learn how to use them actually i may as well like vlog and film and show you guys me trying to work out how to use the machines because i've never used machines before and like weights like that i may as well show you guys because a lot of people and me included are confused about how you use a lot of weights in the gym and we've got to just be bold if we want to try them we've just got to go for it and learn so i may as well vlog it so if you want to see me try using the machines and probably fail then give this video a thumbs up and i will be very happy to do that do some more workout videos because i always say that but i always just like never film it when i should do and i'm gonna do more like workouts in my room so i'm just gonna eat lunch now do a bit of work and then i'll have a lecture at four i think and yeah Oh 
stepping outside that gets me. It's like so cold. So I'm going off to my lecture, 4 p.m. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's and get some bananas because I have one left. And that's not okay. Where is my bike? And there's the bike. Right. Right, so I've had my lecture, I went to Sainsbury's, got my bananas and cucumber and now I'm back at my desk and so I'm just going to do a bit more work. kitchen making food and what am I making I'm making like my favorite mixture thing ever quinoa why is the pan sizzling one sec bear with I don't even know it's not on fire so we're okay yeah this is a mixture of quinoa pearl barley and lentils it's something that I do all the time I usually add turmeric to the mixture so that it goes orange but today i'm actually making a tofu thing a tofu mushroom and onion thing on the side so i'm gonna put turmeric in that instead so it's actually quite a high protein dinner without really even trying but i thought i'd mention it because it is quite high protein and i do get a few questions about like how do you get enough protein you know on a vegan diet it's quite a common question <laughs> So I've probably got quinoa, oh yeah I have. I get it everywhere when I'm cooking, you know. But here, as you saw me chop up before, is an onion, some mushroom, and tofu, which I'm just gonna like fry up in this pan because I can't be bothered to use another pan, like a, a wok or a frying pan. I'll just fry it in a normal pan. It's fine. Raw tofu, you can eat it. And I love it. But today I'm going to be a bit adventurous. Add some garlic stuff. Ooh, got some ground garlic, which is super useful instead of having to chop up fresh garlic. Add some tahini, paprika maybe, and a few other spices. And look at this. You see this? It's literally empty. You guys know how I feel about turmeric and this is just like not okay. I think my veg are like boiling. Oh. It's not supposed to be tofu scramble, but it kind of is scrambled now because- Oh! That's- oh, Ow! I almost put my hand. Okay, so. This is my tofu scramble. I put some spinach in because, you know, I love a bit of green and everything. Oh, hello. Oh, poor camera. Steaming up. So yeah, I love green and everything, as you guys know, so it just needed a touch of spinach. I'm just gonna add it to my bowl here. This looks so good. Let's taste it. I wasn't even thinking about what I was putting in it, but. Mmm. Mm. Tahini makes everything so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. Right, I'm gonna wash up these bits and I'm gonna show you my food and then I'm gonna eat this food because I am so excited. So as I showed you guys, I've just got like my veg here, 
my mixture quinoa thing, and then my tofu onion thing. Everything is just a thing, you know. As I said, it is actually quite high protein. The pulses, like the lentils um, and the quinoa, they are fairly high protein plant foods, and then tofu as well, which is a good protein source on a vegan diet i don't count macros why is this hair like pinging forward it's so annoying anyway i don't count macros or micros or anything like that so i don't aim to eat a set amount of protein per day or like fat or carbohydrates i don't count anything which i'm going to be talking more about in a hopefully upcoming mukbang video because you guys said that you would like a mukbang and a mukbang series when i asked on instagram so i'm very excited to do that but yeah i do get quite a lot of questions about from you guys and just in general about where do you get your protein on a vegan diet and you do get it just by eating an abundance of plant food. I would like to be a bit stronger, you know, in my upper body. So maybe I will look into getting a bit more protein or thinking about where I can get more protein in my meals. I've never taken protein powders. Um, I don't know if I will do. I will never say never, but it might be nice to try using some protein powders and I know there are quite a lot of vegan ones out there nowadays. Oh my gosh, it would be quite cool to see see how it makes me feel, if it makes me feel any different. I don't know, I'm very open to trying anything to do. To be honest with you, I'm just a very flexible vegan. I eat what I want to eat. If you do want more like high protein meal ideas, then I can definitely do what I eat in a day was where I focus on like high protein and stuff like that. I don't think that you should focus on one macronutrient solely in any diet, like excess of any is not a balanced diet. So I forgot to finish yesterday's video. I had it in my head that I needed to end the video, but then I just went to bed because I was trying to get to bed semi-early because I've had to get up at 5.45 today um, to get ready for dance. So I am competition ready. It's competition day today. And this is not this video. I just want to end yesterday's vlog. So I'm filming again today, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed that video guys like if you did and comment down below what you want and subscribe if you're new all that jazz <laughs> jazzes today are very appropriate anyway i'll speak to you in another video and it'll probably be this one the competition day vlog ah i'm so excited right bye <laughs> oh yeah and i've got all my makeup ready at like 6 a.m <laughs>